Podcast. Hi, I'm Kate Alexander. I'm an interior designer and this is my teeny house. It was really exciting to get such a great blank canvas to work on. I had to start with my mood board, like really think about what it was I would want to do, and then picking out the core feature colours that would come together. Blue is one of my favourites, especially half resolution blue. I have a dining table actually in the exact same colour at home. I'm a big fan of primary colours, so red and yellow and then purple. I love how yellow goes with purple and blue. And then there are a couple in there that are my, my mainstay colours like blackjack that is just my black that I always go back to. So I saw this as a great opportunity to replicate and own some of my favourite pieces of furniture that I know I probably will, won't have the opportunity to have in real life. One in particular is the little dining chair you see. That's a replica of a chair by an American company called Dims who did a collaboration with Doosan Doosan where they put their colours on the existing design. So that's a little replica there that was fun. Uh, and the bath too actually is a replica of an in-residence bath. I made the bath and a couple of other things with a 3D printer. I'm very lucky that my partner has an old school 3D printer and I've loved the challenge. He did me the window frames, the archway and the sink, which he was quite proud of actually because it's an integrated bowl into bench. And then I've used uh, cotton reels. I've also used uh, serviette rings. The um, rattan lampshade is a serviette ring. I love to fossick and keep things. So there's a piece of glass off the beach that's the platter that the lovely little um, bunch of flowers is sitting on. I think the vase that the flowers are sitting in is like a little rubber tube. I love the idea of being able to paint a headboard. Some of these things, wouldn't it be great to just make them in real life? So that's just two pieces of balsa wood uh, with, and it's taped on the back and then painted and then I hand painted the little detail. I've cut out some windows and archways because I really wanted to have a view that went from one room to another. I love the idea of having door frames painted different colours and I think it's something that we generally don't do. They are printed from the 3D printer but you could equally make them out of plasticine or balsa wood and I did some old school stenciling. I wanted to do a little tile in the hallway so that the because the floor is a really important part of doing a tiny home. When you're doing a your potato print the little mini jersey bennies are the perfect size potato to use for that. For me it's the details that make it feel real. The paint splatter on the floor makes that kind of makes you go oh okay Okay, this is a, an art studio. That was fun to do, but you, obviously, you probably want to do that either outside or just be very careful because you don't want to paint splatter your background and your house, other things that are around. They're more dribbles probably than, than splatters.